All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this episode, I'm going to do a quick tutorial video here on how to get into Base 3D. If you are brand new to Base Chain and you want to figure out how to get into this dApp, it's super, super simple. So first thing you're going to want to do is come to the website here, base3d.app, and then click on this white paper tab up here, and it's going to bring up this page here. So read through the white paper and familiarize yourself with how this dApp works and what the buy and sells features are. Okay, there's a 10% tax for buying and selling. And the buying and selling is all done through the smart contract exchange. Okay, it's all on a decentralized smart contract. That's the beauty of this technology with this base 3D is there's no LP tokens. There's no liquidity tokens needed. So that's a little bit more safer because somebody can't just pull all the liquidity off the market and then you're stuck with the tokens that you own. All the liquidity is held in the smart contract. Okay, it's held in the smart contract right here in the ETH value. And there's an algorithm in the contract that determines how many tokens you get for how much ETH you put in. And each time someone puts in ETH, the price goes up a little bit higher. And so it, it also pays out to the people holding in the contract, the people holding the B3D tokens, you're gonna get a percentage of each time someone buys and someone sells. And it's, it's a really cool system, all right? This is kind of a retro style contract, bringing back the technology for the crypto OGs from February, 2018, proof of we cans. We really like this technology and we wanna keep it alive in crypto. And what a better way to do it than on base chain where you actually are using real Ethereum and you're not having to pay the high Ethereum gas fees. So if you're brand new and you just have ETH in your MetaMask up here, I'm assuming that you guys already know how to get MetaMask and everything like that and how to get Ethereum on your MetaMask. There's plenty of tutorial videos out there to explain that if you don't know how to do it. But basically you would download the wallet, you would back up your seed phrase offline, write it down, and then you can use your wallet and then you would buy Ethereum from your local exchange, whether that's Coinbase, Gemini, or some other exchange, send it to your wallet here on the Ethereum section. So if you click up here, you're gonna see a list of all the other networks, okay? So first starting, if you don't have any other networks, you're just gonna have the main ones, Ethereum, and then the test networks, okay? So if you wanna get into this dApp, come over here to the tutorial section, follow these three steps. It's very simple, guys, we'll go through them right now. So first you're going to want to go to chainlist.org. That's the first thing. What this is doing is this is going to add the base network to your MetaMask. Okay, so you're going to type in base and it's going to populate with the base network. See right here, add to Meta, you click add to MetaMask. It's going to be a little pop up here on your MetaMask. It's just asking you if you want to add the network, switch the network. So since I already have it added, it's just having me switch. So if you haven't had it added before, it's going to add the network to your MetaMask for you. Once you've completed that task, your wallet is going to be then switched to the base network. Okay, so you can always change it back to Ethereum or any other network through this little drop down. Okay, so after you have the network added, we're going to need that for step three. But for step two, we need to go back to the Ethereum network. Okay, so then change your wallet back to the Ethereum network. All this did is allow you to be able to change the network now. Okay, so that's gonna come in handy later. So let's go back to the tutorial. First, connect your MetaMask to base chain, done. Step two, how to get ETH on base through this bridge, the official bridge. Okay, you're gonna start on the Ethereum network and you're gonna complete the bridge transaction from the Ethereum network. So let's do that real quick right now. Okay, so once you click on the bridge link in the tutorial, it's gonna take you to this page. You're gonna accept here, okay? And what this is doing, it's taking your Ethereum from the Ethereum network and bridging it to base. So you're already on the right tab here. Make sure it's your right wallet that you're using and you're gonna be on the Ethereum network. Type in the amount of ETH that you wanna transfer over. We're gonna do about $10, okay? And then you're going to press deposit ETH. This is gonna bring up a transaction to confirm in your wallet, okay? So, you notice the $5 gas fee. It's probably gonna be less than that, but just make sure you have that much in there to cover it just in case. Okay, then you're gonna click confirm. That transaction's confirming. And then once it 
has been confirmed, okay, you'll get this deposit in transit to base. It usually takes a few minutes, okay? So we'll just check our wallet again. And you can see the Ethereum has went through, successfully deposited. So always save a little bit of ETH from the Ethereum side in your wallet, just in case if you're bridging back for a bridging gas fee as well. I'm not sure if they charge that on here. I've never actually done the withdrawal section, but I'm assuming it's the same kind of thing where you have to pay the bridge gas fee to come back. Now let's go back to the tutorial. So we've done step two, we completed the transaction. Step three, change your wallet network to base. After three to five minutes, you will see the ETH in your wallet on the base chain network. So let's go back to our wallet. This is why we did step one first to connect our wallet first to base chain. So we already have it loaded in our wallet, ready to go. All right, so we're gonna click up here. We're gonna scroll down and find base. It's just gonna say base. Okay, there it is, base, click on that. And here we are. So it hasn't officially went through yet. Okay, don't panic. It takes about three to five minutes. Okay, you will get it. And just wait patiently because it has to confirm a certain number of, of confirmations before they will bridge your ETH to the base network. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let's go and just dive through the rest of this white paper here. Okay, so the master node section, this is for people that wanna earn with referral links. Okay, so you need 100 or more tokens to automatically stake your master node in the smart contract. If you have 100 or more tokens in your wallet, it automatically stakes that as a master node. And what it's going to do, it's gonna give you a master node link that you can share to people and if they use that link when they get into base 3D, you're gonna get a percentage of that automatically paid to you in Ethereum, not in B3D tokens, in actual Ethereum. This is really big for people that wanna just earn for free. And if you're gonna be in this anyway, you might as well share it around and have other people join you. And you can benefit from them as well joining. That's part of the 3D that is base 3D. You earn in three dimensions when someone buys, when someone sells, and when someone uses your referral link. So pretty cool there. All right, and you guys can check out the frequency ask questions. And let's go back to see if our base ETH has arrived. Okay, so still not there. Like I said, three to five minutes, guys. Don't panic, it will show up. It's all on chain, so, so everything is accounted for and you will receive it. It's actually a lot faster than other bridges. So let's go over here to the audit tab talked about this before in my previous video if you guys are wondering about an audit is this contract safe well best type of audit guys is honestly a proven longevity of a contract that's actually working the real safe projects are the ones that have been out for a lot of time and have never been tampered with or hacked those are the ones that have a real audit because it's a proven success through the long term Proof of Weak Hands, which is what Base 3D source code is based off of, still around, guys, and has $4 million of Ethereum in the contract. So they have the same compiler version. Okay, so what you guys can do, if you want to check this using Diff Checker, you can copy the source code. You can click on Diff Checker here. It'll bring up this tab. You can paste the original code here, which is Proof of Weak Hands. You can go to our code on Base 3D copy that, and then paste that in here. And you guys can run a difference to find the difference. And you can check it out and see what you think. Of course, different lines are gonna be different, but the functions and everything remains the same, guys. Okay, as you can just see and scroll through here and look and see what is the functions of this and what are the main differences. And if you notice, there really isn't much, okay? Basically, there's, there was no ambassadors on base 3D, okay? And that's basically the only difference. All right, so you guys can scroll through and see that it's the same code. Yes, is there Solidity compiler bugs? Yes, in the original, there is. But like I said, nobody's been able to hack this and it's been five, six years, okay? Most times the protocols have a flaw, they are found out within one or two years. Usually it is very rare if it goes five, six years and then somebody finally figures out how to hack it. If it's been that long, guys, it's unhackable. And so you can see same compiler bugs, but it doesn't matter because everything is good to go and based off of proof of weak hands. So that's a thing with the audit. 
So let's go back and check if our base ETH has arrived. And it has. So we are good to go. We got our base ETH. Notice that it's the full amount. It's not charging me a bridge fee, which is awesome. It's just bridging the amount of ETH I put in and bridging it over. Okay, so now we've completed the bridge. So now we're gonna go back to the DAP. We're gonna click on launch app. We're gonna click on our MetaMask. It's gonna have you sign in to the MetaMask if you're not signed in. Make sure you're on the right wallet. So now we are good to go to interact with this smart contract. Now the great thing about a smart contract like this is you technically don't need this website to use the smart contract. If anything happened to the website or anything is not working, you can literally go over here to the smart contract, okay, save it in a as your favorites, and you can go over here to the right section, and you can do any function you can do on the website, you can do through the smart contract directly. If you guys are more on the technical side, I'll make a video in the future showing you how to do this. But it is literally simple to do. There's just a few little tweaks you have to do because when you're putting in the units for buying and selling, so you're gonna have to put it in a unit of 256. That's the only difference. But you really won't ever need to use this, guys. It's just good to know that you can if you ever need to. So that makes me feel safe knowing that, that you don't actually need a website, okay? So let's go back to the DAP. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the, the amount of ETH that you want to put in here. Okay, now make sure you leave some ETH for gas because it's about 30 cents or so to use on base chain, which is a lot cheaper than Ethereum. We're looking at, you know, five, six dollars usually on transactions, sometimes more. All right, so we're gonna put in nine dollars. So that leaves us about $1.50 for gas if we ever need it. So what's gonna do guys, it's gonna give us how much tokens for this Ethereum. So if you notice, one B3D equals this much ETH, okay? So we're putting in this much ETH, we're gonna get that many tokens for that much Ethereum. You can calculate that if you wanna see how many tokens you're gonna to get. You can also go down here if you wanna see how many tokens that it, it would be. So for 100 tokens, it's gonna to cost you 0 0.0105 Ethereum. Keep in mind, you have to do a little bit extra so if you want to just get enough to get the master node, you need to buy 110 tokens. So right now you would put in that much ETH, 0 0.01156 ETH. Okay. If you put that in here, then you put that in here, 562. That will get you enough for a master node. And then to see if your master node is active, you would click up here. I don't currently have enough for a master node. If you did, this would pop up with your referral link and you could send that to people to get into the smart contract as well and earn from them. Okay, so let's show you how to do a buy here. Okay, so we're gonna put about nine bucks in here. First thing you're gonna do is click on buy. It's gonna pop up with a transaction. All right, saying 72 cents, okay? It varies, but like I said, it's not gonna be that much at the end. It'll probably be 30 to 50 cents. So not bad, you know? It's a little bit more than Binance Smart Chain, but it's super fast. Let me look at that. So we got 41 tokens. Okay, but the good thing is guys, is you're using real Ethereum and you're not having to pay that enormous gas fees. Yes, the gas fees are a little higher than Binance Smart Chain or even Pulse Chain, but you're using Ethereum. So <laughs> you're keeping your value in Ethereum, which to me is a lot better than some other token on some other network. So now you can see instantly it's populated our tokens. We didn't have to refresh the page. We don't have to do anything. It's already, tokens are in there. We're earning dividends from people coming in and out. All right, so now we have the tokens. You can also add the tokens to your MetaMask. You would click here for the contract address. You'd go back to your wallet. You would go to tokens, import tokens, contract address. There it is, all populates, and there it shows our tokens. Import tokens. So you can always keep a track of your tokens there in your actual wallet. And let's see how much that fee ended up being on the gas. Go here. So not too bad, 52 cents, you know, I'll take that to use the actual Ethereum. All right, so I like that much better. Okay, so now let's go back here to the DAP. And I just wanna show you guys in case you ever run into this problem. If for some reason you decide to refresh the page, which you don't ever need to, but some people do, and by accident, okay, notice now your tokens aren't showing. That's because your wallet now has a stale connection because it needs to re-log in. Even though it's logging in automatically, you still need to re-log it in. So what you do is you would click here, disconnect, reconnect, 
bam, your tokens are back in. So if you ever find that issue where for some reason your tokens aren't displaying here, don't worry, they're still in your wallet. Nobody can get them from your wallet unless it's you. All you do is you just disconnect, reconnect back in, and your tokens will be there, okay? So I'll show you guys how to do the sell. If you ever wanna sell, I'll show you that this contract works like it's supposed to. You would press sell. It'll pop up with the transaction. You would click confirm. Now, of course, this is just for demo purposes. It does you no good to just come in here and buy and sell back and forth because you're just gonna lose 20% of your value, okay? So you can see, I put in $9 in Ethereum and I'm getting out 721 because I'm just going back and forth. And I still have a little dust of tokens in here, okay? So now you would click withdraw. And this is why you keep some gas for Ethereum for gas in case you need to make this transaction, okay? This is a lot cheaper fee because you're just withdrawing. You're not actually buying into the smart contract, okay? And so now this Ethereum will go back into my wallet, and now I have my Ethereum back in my wallet. So you can do that for your dividends. You can do that for anything. You can also reinvest, okay? That helps as well. You can check your wallet again, guys. And there it is, the Ethereum's back in my wallet. So this dApp works as advertised, everything's working, working smoothly, and it's really cool, guys. It's just awesome to be back in this type of technology using Ethereum. It just feels right, it feels like this is where we should be, and this is how we should be using these type of dApps. Keeping this technology alive of the proof of weak hands days, and we're using it on base. So great opportunity, guys, nobody's created something like this on base chain yet. We are the first here with base 3D. So this is the time you want to get in when the contract's super low because the floor is solid and it's really not going to go any lower than this. It's pretty much just going to go up from here. So best thing you can do is get in here, buy yourself enough for a masternode, share a masternode link around and you never know. You might get some big investors coming in using your link and then all your referral dividends will be in this section and you can just withdraw those for Ethereum dividends. So pretty cool system, guys. Really cool dApp. You guys check it out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Appreciate you guys watching this tutorial video. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll be sure to share more information on Base 3D and more tutorial videos in the future. So you guys have a great day. Take care and take charge. And until the next time, we'll talk again. Creative Crypto, out.